It's that time of year again. Got the crawdad traps out, ready to soak to get us some catfish bait. Of course, we're doing the usual like we always have, dog food. Beef and bacon seems to be great. Just poke a couple holes on each side. I should get the juices going, throw it in the trap, and uh, get it out there. Well, next step is bake these all up and throw them on out. Oh, we got three more. Cool. Nice okay. Big ones. Yeah, nice big ones for the white meat. Okay, we got about a dozen in the first trap, which is okay, but not great. Ooh, I see. I see red. Uh, another dozen. They're all the big mm, ones too, so one. that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Not bad. Yeah, this one did better than the first one, so Am I that's soft? cool. Oh yeah, soft shells are like almost for sure bite, period. There's something about a soft shell crawdad. It is the first crawdad to get bit, believe me. It's like a marshmallow to them, I guess. I don't know. Cool, those are some big white meat dads. Looking good. Number three. Mm. A few in there, half dozen maybe? Yeah. Yeah, not so good. That's okay. We're doing all right. Enough to go fishing with. That's the important thing. We'll get more next Last time. Last trap out. Like I said, it's a little early. Beginning of the season, the red crawdad does hibernate. Okay, this is what we got. At least a couple dozen anyway. Good little starter kit for going catting with crawdads. So, well, let's go catfishing. <laughs>